To view your property tax bill, head to www.vandeberggov.org. From here, you need to navigate to the Treasurer's website, so go to the Government tab, then down to Departments T through Z in the Treasurer's Office. For now, the Treasurer's Office has the option to view your property tax bill right at the top of the website, but you can also get there by clicking to Tax Billing Database option on the left of the site, and you'll be directed to the Treasurer's Office external site. Go ahead and click on the little sun. I'm going to go ahead and look up my editor's tax bill. And here's the bill. It shows that the property's assessed value is $170,400. At the bottom of this table, it shows that the total tax bill for 2014, which in my editor's case was a little more than $1,600 after the exemptions. You can see all the exemptions down here in Table 5. Now, Vanderbilt County requires property taxes to be paid in two installments. The first installment is due May 12th. The second is due November 10th. You can pay your property taxes on the website for a fee by clicking here. If you pay with a credit card, the fee is higher than the debit card, so we'll select debit, visa. You can see the convenience fee is $3.95. We'll go ahead and proceed to checkout, and here you input the necessary information. If you don't want to pay online, you can send a payment to the treasurer's office when you receive your property tax bill in the mail. They should be sent out by March 28th. Or you can pay in person at the treasurer's office at the Civic Center. That's at 1 Northwest Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in downtown Evansville across the street from the Ford Center.